say Sarah haul because um, three boxes here. We're gonna try and not keep it all. Starting off with this little bodysuit. And I thought it might actually be really nice if you have wide leg trousers and then with this. I think it'll be really cute. Maybe I'm wrong, but you know, if you're if you like that sort of like accentuated shoulders, I'm assuming this might, might be nice. I got it in a size small and it was $22.99. Okay, this is the like sort of I thought like the muscle tee, but it's not. It's just not doing the same justice. Maybe I should have it on a bigger size, like a um, medium instead. I just feel like no, this is not doing me any justice. Oh my goodness, it's just making my arms look it's essentiating more the fact that my arms would be not my best asset. And then also you can see a little bit of my bra. So we're not gonna keep on also putting this on over my head, squish my head through there. So I'm definitely send it back. I can't keep this. I don't even like the feel of the shoulder pads. I I have so much I think if you have like real slim toned arms, maybe. But this is just not doing any justice for me. I just, I don't feel it. I am not feeling it. So yeah, it's a, it's a no from me. Not today. Not tomorrow, not any day. Okay, so we saw a little bit of zebra print online. And they've got like a skirt in it. But I decided to go for the dress. Zebra print is that kind of thing where sometimes I'm like, you can dress up well and make it look nice. Or you can make it look really tacky. So I'm going to try, I think with this hairstyle, though it might look a bit tacky. I'm not sure. Uh, with the beach waves. I don't know, I can make it work. Um, throw on like an oversized blazer over it and like maybe either little strappy heels or chunky platforms. Uh, this was $29.99, I got an extra small. It's just little straps here at the front and I think they crisscross. They kind of, oh, they crisscross at the back, but I didn't realize there was this little detail. So this little like demonte bit. I like a little bit of, like I love details and things, so that's nice. I'm kind of scared about what way this will it. we'll just see we'll just go with it and see oh this dress is just no 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 it's not working for me because it doesn't have adjustable straps unfortunately i always say this every video don't judge my back i don't have anybody to tie my back for me um so i am aware it's white and it needs um <laughs> it needs painted in but that's the back of it and i can't see but i don't think there's any adjustable strap nope not adjustable i cannot wear a bra i love wearing a bra with my dresses because it makes me feel a bit more secure this is for tall people obviously it's just the dress is not doing anything for me this if it fitted properly that would be an baby outfit love it sorry i sorted it out most people most women i know around my age we all need bras we all need bras and most of the clothes you're designing right now they're made for people that don't need bras with perky boobs ripping into our second box here okay, so i wanted a cream cream white kind of blazer so it's like kind of creamy white um i got this in a size medium 49.99 i think it's like a sort of linen material it's got one sort of button um tortoise shell button shoulder pads in it it just feels nice and lightweight i love oversized blazers i really hope that this is big and chunky kind of oversized fit i don't want it looking too yeah i just want it looking massive i love oversized love anything oversized on me so the blazer isn't too bad it's nice and um, oversized in the shoulders i'm wearing those little shoes and uh, little platforms um that i got from sara as well so this is kind of the look that i wanted to go for the platform nearly fell off, I nearly fell off. This is why I'm like, I'd love to design my own because it's not, I feel like it's not sitting right here where I want it to sit. I want it to sit kind of more boxy at the front here. Um, I don't know how to describe what I want, but it's, it is perfect on the shoulders for that oversized look. So this is size medium and that's why I like, I've went like from my normal size, maybe up two sizes. So that's why it's got that boxy overfit kind of look. I was going to get a pair of white trousers um, for my summer wardrobe. Then I saw these and then I changed my mind and was like, hmm, maybe we'll go satin. Don't know what way this will iron or what way it'll wash, but like wide leg satin. Now this could be hit or miss because you know the way sometimes satin can look lovely and like really luxurious and very expensive looking, but also it can cling and cling to the wrong areas. So like tummy wise, I'm going to see what way it sits around the, my slight mum tum. I got these in an extra small, which is what I typically am usually in Zara. These were actually a bit more expensive, uh, $49.99, compared to my usual trousers that I get from there, which are like £30. They're a lovely kind of oyster colour, I would call it. So we'll have to steam iron these before I try them on. That could be really nice with the body, so actually, or this, 
Why did I treasure with this? I'm excited. I think these are actually really nice. Okay, these were in the sale and I'm actually excited about these ones. Mm, they're maybe not just as nice in person. Maybe they'll be nicer on. Uh, but they've little Demontes on them. They were down to like £30, I think, instead of 50 Just a little delicate sort of heel with a tiny bit of sparkle, not too much. Hopefully the rain is not distracting you right now because it is raining currently in the background. But we're keeping the heels because I've taken the seal off. The seal has been broken. I actually think they're so pretty. These are trousers the trousers they're definitely going to be taken off even with the heels on they're still a little tiny bit too long these are quite tight or maybe i'm just like really bloated i do feel really bloated um today but you know what they are actually quite beautiful it's just this sort of area that i'm a wee bit like maybe i should have um my spanks on <laughs> but they are quite nice they're actually nice in this top as well as asymmetric top what do you guys think keep them don't keep them the only problem with them they will crease very very quickly but i mean what else do you expect with um that sort of satin silky material if you are between sizes size up in these i think because the waistband is quite tight also they're not very good at like hemming this is the only issue i have with like all their trousers the hem i don't know what way they hem but it always falls down um, and unravels on me so i'm definitely gonna have to get one to wear this time so i don't ruin these because they were quite expensive we went a little bit daring and we got a little bit of color i'm not sure how this is going to look on me at all now i kind of wish i would gotten the orange one i saw an orange long sleeve one and i kind of wish i'd gotten that one instead of this one uh, i got this in size small and it's 32.99 i don't know i just don't know how i feel about it right now i feel like it just could not be it, it might not be my vibe it might be too colorful for me it might be too like young but it's it is a lovely midi dress it's just I don't know. I think it was far nicer looking on the model than I see it in person. I just don't know about the colours. Mm, I don't know. I think my mummy's put me off stuff like this when I was younger. <laughs> she used to dress me up and, and things like this and I'm just like, it's nice but I don't know if I'll keep it. I'll try it on. Maybe I'll change my mind. I know some people are going to absolutely love this because it's full of colour. And I wouldn't say I'm afraid of colour but I'm kind of a little bit afraid of colour in this i actually do like the way it fits though but i'm just not sure about the colors and the stripes for me personally i don't think i'd wear it again i think i'd maybe wear it once and, that, and then that would be it and i'm trying to be better at like keeping things that i'll like literally keep re-wearing um it, it's a nice fit it's really comfy i just feel like color wise and stuff it's not for me i'm not going on any holidays anytime soon if you're going on holiday this would be like a lovely little knit can't tell you whether it would be like sweaty you know like obviously sometimes it's to make you warm i can't tell i haven't worn it long enough worn it long enough if i put my 90 sunglasses on is it it's kind of more fidey as well isn't it i don't know i'm trying to make myself love it and then i'm like don't make yourself love it if it was meant to be you would have loved it from the moment you put it on ashley okay so i've been eyeing this up for a while and i know i've been looking like for sort of mix between a denim skirt and shorts i found a skirt which is like literally the best of both worlds but this one kind of just looks nice because it's got like an asymmetric kind of feel to it now i just get a wee bit screamish about like what size to get i got a small this time anyway just to be safe this and a lovely puff sleeve sort of um cream poplin top and knee high boots is what i was thinking idea wise for the summer just to kind of dress it up or we could try it i could try it with just a plain t-shirt and an oversized blazer to see does that look nice as well and it was 25.99 and i think it does come in a range of different colors too but yeah maybe i should have got shorts instead but we'll see maybe i love it i think i like it i don't know this is the blazer with this this kind of a cute little outfit then with the boots instead I, I would prefer to have obviously that oversized sort of blouse that i was on about the fit of this i'm so glad i went for the small extra small would have been way too tight would not have fit it at all there is a lot of work to get into this though the amount of buttons and stuff i kind of like the fit of it at the back as well yeah i think i'm gonna keep the skirt see there's a zip here there's two buttons here then there's another button here if you're not bothered about the amount of work that goes into putting this on then definitely get it it's not gonna be one of those things you can just rush on and put on because of the fact that obviously we have the three buttons and a zip here but yeah, that's the only issue I had with getting it, <laughs> getting into it. <laughs> just took a lot of time. Um, and because the fabric's quite stiff. And like, I mean, it's easy enough to break a nail. That kind of that kind of way. But I do I love I love the fit of it. I definitely think I'll keep it. I think it's a lovely, lovely, lovely piece. And did I say there? this comes in different colours. So it's like white and like a dark blue. And I think a grey wash and a black. So I mean, I might get in another colour too. I have got a couple of waistcoats and I just 
I keep them and try to wear them and then I never wear them. So I'm like, why did you get another waistcoat, Ashley? Another white one? I need to get a bit better with my buying habits, but this is a crop one instead. The other two, I just, I, I just never worn them. And I'm hoping I'll wear this one. It's more of a tailored sort of fit on it. So I'm hoping that'll like it better. It was $29.99. I got it in extra small button detail down the front. Thought it would be nice, like, um, I want to do like a workwear kind of video on Insta, like a workwear reel. And I thought it would be nice with like a t-shirt underneath maybe, um, an open, yeah. I just thought it would be nice for the summer. I saw, was it Chloe Rose? Chloe Rose had it, old Chloe Rose. She had it on and she had this and then a pair of wide leg white trousers and it was beautiful. Chef's kiss, so good. And I could wear it with maybe jeans, casual down with jeans or my satin trousers that I got, dress it up that way. I need to be very careful on whether I wanna keep this because like I said, I have two other waistcoats and I've never worn them. They're just not something I gravitate to my wardrobe a lot. But Chloe, has worn hers a lot and then I'm like hmm I did maybe I didn't give these a chance or maybe I just didn't have the right one so that's why I've decided to go for this one so I can't tell how I feel about this one maybe it's the trousers maybe it's not the right type of trousers if I try it on with jeans or something instead or like a black pair of trousers um it's supposed to be like this is a small size so I assumed it would have been more like tight fitting um and a little bit more crop I think maybe this, I think the issue with me is everything's always too long. Um, oh, I don't know. I just don't love it. And then I know rightly if I don't love it, then other people will be like, no, I, I like it. Keep it. But I'm not going to love it. I can't keep it because I already have two waistcoats. These platform shoes. And I missed out in the last ones. And the more and more I saw them on people, the more I was like, yes. And I got like a bodycon dress from Mango. Um, hoping that they look really nice now these are like a satiny material and they were i think they were the cheaper ones as well so they were 29.99 i need platforms for the height because i am five foot should you keep them if you only have one outfit in mind for them and that's it probably not so i need to go back to the drawing board and think of what other ways i can style them up i almost forgot to show these beautiful no they better be beautiful on because like once I take them out of the package and I can't send them back. You know the whole thing about rules with earrings. So let's put their nice on. I'm going to try them on now for you. Imagine I put these on and they're not nice. Are these like, are these weird looking? <laughs> I can't send them back now anyway. It's too late. It is too late. They are massive but I was kind of looking for that vibe. Like massive earrings. Oh, I actually like them. I see them in, I see them in the mirror. Well, I like them from the side anyway. So... What do we think? Do we think they're far too big for my face? Um, I have a wedding to go to and I was thinking these might be really nice with the dress that I have. So the dress is like a lovely pink but it's choker. So I was thinking of slicking my hair back and then having these as statement earrings just to bring something back to the dress that is quite plain. Can I get away with them? Don't tell me they're not nice because I can't send them back. Maybe I should try on the other ones just so you can see. Ooh, who is she? I like, literally look like a mermaid. I think I look like a mermaid with these on. But I, I, part of me kind of likes them because they're so statementy. But I feel like I look like a mermaid. I look like a mermaid with like shells in my ears. <laughs> they're so big. Like, let's see. I actually do think they could be half the size of my head. <laughs> they are half the size of my head. Guys, they're cute. They are cute. They're just very big for my head so that is everything in this little sorrow haul today i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and yeah let me know if you want to see this hairstyle in the next video thank you so so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support i really appreciate it so much beyond like you have no idea beyond belief words don't can't even describe how much i appreciate um you guys liking and commenting and helping me with like the next ideas for my next videos so um yeah thank you so much and i'll talk to you later